uncertainty in measurement. Every measurement has some uncertainty to it. In this example, I've reproduced a ruler and each increment is one millimeter, which is the same as 0.1 centimeters. To determine the uncertainty for this particular device, you take your smallest division and you divide it by 10. So we have 0.1 centimeters divided by 10 to give us an uncertainty of 0.01 centimeters. Now, when you read this arrow, you might say it's 2.5, 2.61 centimeters. The uncertainty, that 0.01, tells you the last number you should record in your measurement. It tells you how many places you should write when you make a measurement. If you just write 2.6, you're not really letting the reader know that you could guess the next place. So uncertainty lets you know the place that you can guess. When you make that measurement, you might say 2.61 centimeters plus or minus 0.01. It is assumed, if that's not written, that the 0.1, 0 0.01, is plus or minus 0.01. This means that if you subtract that uncertainty, you get 2.6. If you add it, your measurement could be up to 2.62. Another example. In this measurement, I have 4.5 plus or minus 0.1 meters, which means that measurement could be 4.4 meters up to 4.6 meters. Another measurement, this says 26.00 mils. This last place is the uncertain digit, and it's plus or minus 0.01 mils, which means your reading is 25.99 all the way up to 26.01 milliliters. Another calculation we can make with uncertainty is something called percent uncertainty which is just your uncertainty divided by the measured value times 100. So if we use the example 2.54 centimeters with an uncertainty of 0 0.01 centimeters, we can calculate its percent uncertainty, 0 0.01 divided by 2.59, your centimeters cancel, times 100, you'll get 0.4% uncertainty, so less than 1% 